Hello and welcome to the Upland Daily Show, the show for buying and selling deals on Upland. Now, I'm sorry for the hiatus. Been uh, dealing with construction and uh, studio space, as you can see here, rentaling some spots, but let's get into it. Today, we're talking about second wave of Oakland coming up here in a couple hours. Also, we've got two new two tier, tier two cities, it's a tongue twister, and two hub cities coming up. Uh, announced by Oakland. Uh, are the hub cities in the U.S. or are they international? We will find out. So thank you all of my viewers. I appreciate you guys and continue to get views and subscriptions while I was on hiatus. So that brought me back. I appreciate you guys and subscribe and like because every one of you guys that do makes me more motivation to come back. Love you guys. All right. Now, Upland announced wave two of Oakland tonight at 11 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. That's what, 2 a.m. or something for you East Coasters. So pretty early out there. You know, it'll be interesting to see what uh, what people do, kind of how many people show up. I anticipate a pretty strong showing uh, to this release. And I think, you know, anytime in between, oh, 5 p.m. Eastern and, uh, you know, maybe... 3 p.m. Uh, or 3 a.m. Eastern would would all get pretty significant uh, turnout in the game, but we'll see what happens with the numbers tonight. I anticipate Oakland to mint uh, pretty quickly. Uh, now, in the Upland news, two new U.S. cities, and that doesn't mean that the other ones are are international, but these that were announced were Bakersfield and Staten Island. So one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. It sounds like these cities will be released fairly quickly compared to previous city releases. So, you know, assuming all goes well, there might be a great opportunity to uh, get into some additional land grab uh, here. The land grab opportunity may not be over with. So if uh, it, it, I think it all depends on if the game can handle the user load, but if so, there should be lots of opportunity to add some UP2 to your portfolio. Uh, it, they are uh, they are giving away uh, the next uh, terminals, the bus terminals and the uh, train terminals. So it'll be a bus terminal from Brooklyn to Staten Island. And uh, I'm a terrible East Coaster because uh, I don't know if there's a bridge, if that even makes any sense, but that is what there will be. And there will be four terminals into uh, Bakersfield. So those will be given away uh, based on a, a, a competition here, a total of eight properties. And if you go out on the uh, Discord, you can see what you need to enter this. So it's pretty extensive. It looks like you need to fill out a Google form, which I uh, have not done yet, but it did open uh, this morning. You have to leave a post shilling one of your properties on Power Uplander channel. And then you have to sell any property that you own you uh, have to win a standard treasure hunt and you have to send to visitor properties. I'm not entirely sure what send to visitor properties mean, but uh, I'll look into that a little more, maybe put it in the comments, uh, pin it there for you. It is important though, this time they changed how you, uh, how you accept the award. Uh, you only have 24 hours to mint the properties after you win. So tomorrow when they announce that uh, the winners, the winners only have 24 hours until the award is given to somebody else. So make sure you log in and check tomorrow that, uh, if you have uh, completed all those activities to check to see if you've won. So Staten Island will be released this week, actually, is what the announcement says, uh, followed at some point by Bakersfield. Uh, Staten Island will be accessible while well, bus, like I said. And uh, if these, you know, since these are rolled out soon, I think Tons of land grab opportunity. If the servers and blockchain are able to handle it, we will see to be determined uh, there. But I think they're big enough and that, uh, you know, the rush and FOMO won't be so big that everyone will try to mint them right away. I think people will understand, you know, players will understand that they can come back and still grab some pretty valuable properties uh, uh, later. And maybe that's, maybe that's, you know, a new way for Upland to do it is, is tier, instead of tiering or releasing in waves, all at once, maybe tear them throughout the day so that, uh, you know, people in different time zones have opportunities to buy them 
And then you don't get the rush all at once because people realize like, oh, well, you know, I'm not awake really, or like, I've got to go to work for the 8 a.m. release, but, uh, you know, maybe for the 2 p.m. release, I'll take a break from work and I'll try to like catch a few properties then. And I think that'd be a good way to distribute the load maybe on the servers, just an idea. Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Staten Island's neighborhood lines have been released. Let's take a look at that real quick. I don't know if they're supposed to be released, but this is what you see. You know, I don't know a ton about Staten Island. Oh, there's the bridge. There it is. Uh, it's probably a famous bridge too. And uh, nope, not that one, not one that I've heard of. Branzo, Brazano Narrows Bridge. Probably butchering that. But look, you got a lot of different neighborhoods here, all listed out. I mean, tons of area. The space is about uh, just slightly smaller than... Um, slightly smaller than the space in, or sorry, total area of Brooklyn. Uh, so, you know, tons of opportunity to mint here. I'm sure it'll be released over uh, a couple of days. I don't know, maybe released all at once. Maybe they announced that uh, and I missed that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think um, plenty of opportunities to grab some up to. Uh, no one should feel like they're missing out here. And then with uh, uh, Bakersfield releasing. Bakersfield's about uh, 150 square miles. Um, Staten Island's about uh, 58, I think, square miles. So uh, if they release all of Bakersfield, that should be a significant uh, a land area that uh, people can grab. And I think, you know, those two areas are a pretty good move because I was recently getting afraid that, like, you know, I'm not going to be able to own much uh, UP2 in Upland. But, you know, if these two are released and before the CNN uh, uh, CNN documentary, I think there's a good opportunity that there's going to be enough around for people who are currently in the game to kind of get some more skin in the game before uh, things pick up uh, once again. But uh, who knows? This game's growing like crazy. We might just just might not have the time. It might be over already. We'll, we will see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Bakersfield's about 30% larger than Fresno, one of the notes I had. Uh, and in addition to Staten Island and, and uh, Bakersfield, they announced they're going to release two new hub cities. That is pretty exciting. And, you know, there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of speculation on the form, what those, uh, what those are, the Discord. Some people seem to be leaning from what I've seen, uh, at least towards them being U.S. hub cities. But there's... I don't think there's any evidence to show that they're not international hub cities. You know, we could be looking at a Hong Kong release maybe, or a London release. I think a London release would be really cool. Uh, maybe a Paris or Rome release. Although those cities, I think you kind of got to wait. If I'm not blend, you kind of got to wait a little longer to do those big European cities. But I think you could totally do London today. You could totally do something like Hong Kong today. Uh, I think those would be, um, pretty interesting cities. Not that the others wouldn't be, but, you know, I think those, you could get some, um, some pretty cool, uh, like, like Paris and Rome, I think you get some pretty good marketing out of like releasing those cities. Uh, but, uh, I think the game's going to be different, you know, at that point when, when that happens, but we'll see, it's all speculation. So it's fun to, fun to speculate and we'll find out soon. I'm sure which, uh, which cities are those hub cities, but if they're based in the U S you know, I'm thinking maybe LA, Miami, uh, Boston, Boston, uh, Chicago uh, would be would be good options. Uh, maybe even maybe even Seattle or Dallas. You know, who's who's to say? Really, I'm sure I'm missing a couple obvious ones, but uh, um, we will see where they are. And I'm excited that it's coming quickly, as it feels like the game's ready to get uh, get some more high high value UP2 out there. Uh, so. Hey, moving on to our market stats for the day. So for unminted properties, we're basically at zero, 62 uh, unminted properties available and 59 of those are FSAs. Lower than usual there. Uh, it seems like a lot of visitors got involved maybe and just haven't, haven't left recently. So maybe that's a sign of player retention. I'm not too sure. Could be a good one though. And then uh, we've got 26,500 locked properties. The majority of those are probably Oakland properties going to be released tonight. And then you got your other ones that are special properties that won't be released um, anytime soon, but probably in special releases. 
Uh, for for uh, floors today, you know, pretty steady compared to, uh, you know, I was expecting a little higher appreciation, but uh, still got some bright spots. San Fran's at 145 to 150. That's very steady. Fresno, 190%. That's up about 5%-ish. Oakland is down to 140%. 140%. That's down 40% since I last reported. And that was uh, before the last, uh, before the the release of the complete first wave. So, um, you know, now we're at the second wave. You've had some time for people to get in. I, I feel like there's a little less FOMO going on. Kind of like I thought, right? Like Oakland was overpriced because it is a tier two city. I wouldn't expect Oakland uh, unless there was some other, you know, weird thing going on. Like you got in Fresno with low mid properties. Wouldn't expect, uh, wouldn't expect Oakland to be over San Francisco on the floors. Uh, going forward, we've got Manhattan, 175%. That's up 15% from when I last reported, which is a couple of days ago. And uh, I think Manhattan's appreciating nicely. I think Manhattan is going to surprise a lot of people, especially the diehard uh, West Coasters. You know, Manhattan, I think, uh, is already starting to show a little bit of favor over San Francisco, and I would expect that to continue. As much as I love San Fran, I just think Manhattan and uh, New York City is very recognizable internationally and uh, would continue to see that appreciation, I believe. Uh, Brooklyn up to 155, that's uh, up 5%. And our largest transactions now, we're doing our whale watching again. We've got uh, our largest secondary upex transaction was five million for a Tribeca property in Manhattan. I really like that purchase. If I had an extra five grand laying around, you bet I would buy in Tribeca right now. Uh, that was um, we got about two a day, two uh, transactions, upex transactions over one million per day is what we've been averaging uh, around the last week, and that's uh, I think that's pretty healthy for the uh, upex economy. Or the upland economy. The largest secondary fiat transaction was $2,350. That was an East Harlem space. A lot of UP2 on that one, 735. So big space. And, uh, you know, overall, uh, we, we saw two, only two uh, sales over uh, 1,000 um, up X. So, you know, I don't know if that, uh, it'll be interesting to watch that. I don't know if that has something to do with. Uh, the fact that Oakland released and there was a bunch uh, more properties for people to spend their money on. But, uh, you know, we'll be interesting to see if, uh, as we're releasing, if these um, high, uh, high fiat transactions continue or if they kind of kind of drop off. But, you know, fiat uh, transactions were healthy. Uh, I don't have the total number, but, you know, they are happening, maybe just not the high, super high dollar ones. Or you just might have a, a, a smaller number of high dollar ones uh, occur, um, for, you know, just uh, very historic properties or well-positioned properties, you know, in terminals and uh, stuff like that. We did see one of the $10,000 uh, transactions, USD transactions, was a train terminal in Oakland. So maybe um, maybe those things will happen. Um, you know, the city's opened up and they get minted and sold secondhand uh, for some of the higher, higher uh, demand ones, right? The higher, um, higher desirability. Uh, so anyway, that is all for today, guys. Thank you for joining in, but come back tomorrow. We are going to look at where you want to buy here in Staten Island. Uh, I'll have to practice my accent uh, so I can get all these, uh, pronounce all these properties like uh, Park Hill, Clifton, Yonkers. Uh, Yonkers is up north, but you get the idea. Thanks for joining in, guys, and have a great Oakland Wave 2. Take care. Upland Real Estate Digest is an entertainment service. All views are for entertainment purposes only and not to be construed as financial advice. Upland Real Estate Digest is not affiliated with Upland.